easy notes on norris type 1 reaction definition upon irradiation by uv light in the range 230 to 330 nanometers the carbonyl compounds that is aldehydes and ketones undergo homolytic cleavage of the alpha carbon carbon bond in their n to pi star excited states both in the singlet and triplet states to form intermediate free radicals in acyclic saturated ketones or intermediate bi radicals in cyclic saturated ketones this is the primary process then these intermediate free radicals of acyclic ketones or intermediate bi radicals of saturated ketones cyclic ketones form various products this is the secondary process a norish one type reaction in saturated acyclic carbonyl compounds example acetone ch3 c double bond ch3 primary process in the primary process ch3 c double bond o from ground state is excited to n to pi star transitions upon irradiation by uv light and goes to the singlet excited state that is s1 from s1 through intersystem crossing it will go to the triplet state t1 in the triplet state one of the alpha bonds this is one alpha carbon alpha carbon bond this is another alpha carbon bond one of the carbon alpha bonds will cleave to form two radicals alpha bond alpha bond like all other bonds is made up of two electrons so when the bond cleaves one electron goes to c double bond o and another goes to ch3 as a result two intermediate free radicals are formed CH3 C double bond O CH3 this alpha bond has cleaved giving one electron to this C double bond O and another electron to CH3 as a result an acyl free radical CH3 C double bond O radical and an alkyl radical CH3 radical is formed. These free radicals are unstable because each carbon atom has seven electron. Each carbon needs one more electron to complete its octet, that is eight electrons, and become stable. So these radicals undergo various reactions to give various products in the secondary process. secondary process coupling of two acyl radicals to give a diketone at low temperature or room temperature ch3 c double bond o plus c double bond o ch3 this radical and this radical will combine to form a new bond this is diketone 
or it is called butadione. This bond is formed because of these two radicals. These two radicals combine to form this new bond. This is a diketone. Then coupling of two alkyl radicals can happen to form an alkane at low temperature. CH3 radical plus CH3 radical. These radicals will combine to form a new bond. Alkane CH3 single bond CH3 alkane that is ethane is formed. Decarbonylation that is removal of carbon at high temperature occurs from acyl radical CH3 C double bond O radical. Upon decarbonylation gives carbon monoxide and alkyl radical CH3 radical. Dimerization of two alkyl radicals to form an alkyl that is CH3 radical plus CH3 radical will combine to form a new bond alkane or ethane. Disproportionation or intermolecular hydrogen abstraction between two acyl radicals to form an aldehyde and ketene occurs. CH3 C double bond O radical plus C double bond O CH2 CH that is CH3. This hydrogen bond will cleave giving a hydrogen radical. This hydrogen radical will go and combine with this acyl radical to form an aldehyde. Then this C and C radical and this CH2 radical will join to form a new bond. So there is a double bond here between CO and CH2. This is ketene and this aldehyde is acetaldehyde. These are the reactions that happen in acyclic carbonyl compounds by irradiation of UV light. Now let us see Norris type 1 reactions in saturated cyclic carbonyl compounds. Example Cycle cyclobutanone. Cyclobutanone is represented like this. Each corner is having CH2, 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 and this is having C double bond O. This is the carbonyl group. Mechanism. Primary process. In the primary process, the ground state buta butanone upon irradiation by UV light gets excited to end to pi star transition and enters singlet state. Then from singlet state through intersystem crossing it enters triplet state. In the triplet state any of the alpha bonds can cleave. This is one alpha bond and this is another alpha bond. I am cleaving this bond. As a result of which a bi radical is formed. This bond cleaves giving one electron here and one electron here. This is a bi radical. This is alkyl acyl bi radical. In the secondary process, Decarbonylation of alkyl acyl bi radical to form a new bi radical with the elimination of carbon monoxide occurs. Alkyl alkyl acyl bi radical this bond cleaves, releasing carbon monoxide and forms a new bi radical. 
then cyclization of the new biradical occurs to form cyclopropane this is the new biradical this radical and this radical will form a new bond that is cyclopropane then another process is intra molecular hydrogen abstraction to form an alkene this is ch2 ch2 and ch2 in this ch2 one hydrogen carbon bond will cleave forming a hydrogen radical which will go and attach to this ch2 radical to form ch3 then a new radical is formed here this new radical and this radical will combine to form a double bond so this becomes an alkene that is propene now if we see this in another way ch2 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 radical radical this hydrogen carbon bond cleaves and this hydrogen radical will go and attach to this ch2 radical to form ch3 so a radical is formed here a new radical this radical and this radical will combine to form a bond so there is a double bond between ch2 and ch so this becomes an alkene propene so these are the reactions of norish one type one reactions in carbonyl compounds in a cyclic saturated ki carbonyl compounds and cyclic carbonyl compounds in our next video we shall study about advanced reactions of norish type 1 reactions thanks for watching